Okay then, let's start. Uh, this is the Trouble Gift Club. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Let me start both. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Who is Ashley? Which one of you is Ashley? Okay, Ashley, so why are you here? What's your problem? Okay, who's next? Um, Alita. Who's Alita? Who's Alita? 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 Oh, what? <laughs> Alita. I'm probably making a wild guess here, but I'm guessing you're here because of video games. <laughs> Give it up, I'm die! Oh, what do you think that I care? That's hilarious. and listening, so what could possibly be wrong with you? Um, I don't know anything about an asteroid belt. Like, is it a belt for your pants or a seat belt? Are you some kind of psycho? It's a belt to hold up your pants! Think a little. Come on, go on. Move over. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Smells in here anyway. Hey guys! I heard you guys were talking about astronauts. <laughs> oh, sweetie. No. Um, we're talking about asteroid belts. We're not talking about astronauts. Seat belts. Or seat belts to hold up your pants. Like, where are you getting this from? Asteroid belts. How about you shut up? Okay? I know everything. First of all, the majority of asteroids orbit the solar system in a ring called the asteroid belt. It is located between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt is made up of millions and millions of asteroids. The asteroid belt contains millions of different types of asteroids from small to huge sizes. The four biggest asteroids that take up most of the asteroid belt are Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, and Hygieia. The rest of the asteroid belt is made up of countless small asteroids. Did I put some knowledge into your brain? No. Remember, I don't get where I got that belt thing. Okay, in the 18th century, astronomer Johann Tedeus saw a mathematical pattern in the layout of the planets and used it to predict the existence of what was between Mars and Jupiter. 25 astronomers also joined during the 1800s to find what was between the two planets. The object between the planets was seen and caught by Giuseppe Piazzi. Sorry if I said it wrong. He found Ceres, as well as Pallas, Vesta, and Juno. There have been over 100 asteroids discovered in that area. There were too many asteroids between Mars and Jupiter, so they decided to call it the asteroid belt. Some very interesting facts, Olivia. Thank you. Uh, and, um, do you get it now, Melissa? No. You didn't get it yet, still. So I'm going to say a couple facts, and don't spray me, okay? I know. I honestly don't even know what your name is. I'm Sarah Jones. Oh, that girl. Don't! Get away. Don't be rude! We're having a trying conversation here! God. Like I was saying, Sarah Jones, the asteroid belt is between 2.2 and 3.2 astronomical units away from the sun. 186 and 370 mile, million miles away from the sun. It's about it's one astronomical unit away big. The asteroid belt is Belt's orbital period is 3 through 6 Earth years. Therefore, the asteroid belt takes 3 through 6 times longer than the Earth to make a trip around the sun. Oh, thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> Do you get it now? Uh, no. Since you don't get it, here's a fun fact. Not all asteroids are in the asteroid belt. Sometimes when asteroids collide from the gravitation of Jupiter, they leave the asteroid belt. If the asteroids come within 1.3 AU of the sun, it is called a near-Earth asteroid. Do you have anything else to say? What makes up most of the asteroids? About half the mass of the belt is contained with four intact protoplanets. Biggest and most important, Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, and Hygieia. 
These four asteroids have the diameter of more than 400 km. And also, Wait, don't interrupt me! Asteroids are made out of rock and stone. There have also been found other objects or waste in the belt. The asteroid belt also contains little tiny asteroids that look like pebbles. Well, that is pretty much all I know about asteroids. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously I'm smarter, so... I have more about asteroids. Well, asteroids are leftovers from the formation of our solar system about 4.2, 4.6 billion years ago. We weren't even alive at the time. Early on, the birth of Jupiter prevented any planetary bodies from forming in the cap between Mars and Jupiter causing the small objects that were then to collide with each other, breaking into a million or even billions of asteroids and rocks and form the asteroid belt. Since you don't want to give me my video games, I got some facts for you on the asteroid belt. Sarah Jones, here's the lesson. Sirius was discovered in 1801 and at first it was considered to be the 8th planet. It was the first asteroid to be discovered and it is the largest found it is the only asteroid considered a dwarf planet. Its shape suggests that it has similar traits to the Earth and other rocky planets. Sirius may have large deposits of water ice under its crust. It is possible that Sirius could have more water than all the fresh water on Earth. Oh, oh. You guys think you're so funny and so smart, but guess what? You're all stupid because I still know some facts. Like the largest asteroid called Pallas. Pallas was discovered in 1802 and is about 580 km by 500 km, making it comparable in size to Vesta. But it is substantially lighter being. It has an eccentric orbit around the sun. Well, Sarah Jones and Alita, here are some facts about Hygieia. Hygieia was discovered in 1849. It is the fourth largest of the asteroids. Its orbit is somewhat eccentric, goes around the sun every 5.56 years. It is the largest asteroid in the Hygieia family. Well, while you guys were arguing, I looked up some facts about Vesta. Vesta was discovered not long after Ceres in 1807. Vesta was the fourth found and is the second largest asteroid. It represents about 9% of the total mass of the asteroid belt objects within the last billion years. Vesta suffered a catastrophic collision that left a crater at its south pole that is about 460 kilometers across and blew about 1% of its entire mass into space. The remaining fragments, at least 233 found to date, together with Vesta, compromise the Vesta group of asteroids. Some fragments are believed to be the source of the HED meteorites. Now that you're not so dumb and stupid, I'm going to leave now. Well, it's time. So, I finally get away from you strange weirdos. <laughs> I'm not taking it right. <laughs> it was a dream? Oh, yeah, I see. Who are you? <laughs>